to look back at the last Forge FC contest. Simply stunning stuff. And finally, their goal. Here is Match and Reveal. My word, what a rocket. With Anthony Urcioli on the Forge Audio Network. Hey, Forge fans. This is a very different Match and Review. If you're a regular watcher, listener on the Forge Audio Network, uh, you may know I'm Anthony Urcioli. This is not going to be a pretty broadcast because it doesn't need to be. The action on the pitch is telling the story. We are currently in added time in extra time. We are seconds away. Forge FC has a 2-1 lead on Calvary. They are seconds away from winning their fourth CPL title in five seasons. The first club in league history to win it at home and I'm not going to have to tell you when the final whistle goes you're going to hear it behind me 14,000 fans strong here at Tim Morton's Field in Hamilton for this final Cavalry took a 1-0 lead in the 101st minute you could hear a pin drop here at Tim Horton's Field all of a sudden everything changed Benny Batty Banga with a beautiful equalizer. And then, Tristan Borges. Of all the ways he could have scored what is now holding up to be the winning goal, the championship title, the clinching goal, was an Olympico from the corner. You, I, I, I have never witnessed anything like this at any sporting event ever in my life. The atmosphere is insane. Everyone is on pins and needles. Shortly, you'll hear... That final whistle at Forge FC will be for a fourth-time CPL champions. I, I don't know. I don't know the possession. I don't know the shots on goal. I don't have any notes. I don't have stats. And quite honestly, who cares? Who cares? At this point, stats mean absolutely nothing. Remember, before the match, we talked about the three keys. Super subs was one of the keys. Who are your subs in this one? David Chouanier, Tristan Borges. Chouanier touched the pitch, and the uh, the field completely tilted in Forge's favor. He is a game breaker. He's big game day for a reason. He started to swing the momentum, and his teammates did the rest. As it stands right now, Forge FC will have a 10 and one playoff record. As it stands now, Forge FC has never allowed more than one goal in a CPL final. The crowd is on countdown watch. When I tell you we're seconds away, I absolutely mean it. And what do you say about Tristan Henry? This game almost didn't make it to extra time. Why? Calvary had two incredible opportunities. Tristan Henry turned away both. Game saving stops, and there it is. Forge FC rallies from a goal down in extra time to win the CPL. It's, it's unbelievable. Dynasty doesn't even do this team justice anymore. The way they did it, overcoming adversity all year, learning to win in different ways throughout. And at the end of it, Cavalry. Cavalry. As much as we want to keep it about Forge, Cavalry was that close to finally slaying the dragon, getting the monkey off their back, finally doing what they have not been able to do the best regular season team in CPL history. Just They have not been able to win the big one. And standing in their way, the entire way through, has been Forge FC. Once again, it's Forge, and it's in the most heartbreaking fashion imaginable. David, yes. I, I don't even know. You couldn't have scripted this any better. What an unbelievable Never. finish. What, what, what are you thinking of me? Come on as a sub, and you just got scored on. I couldn't believe it, to be honest. I waited the whole game to, to come in, and the moment I was about to come in, they scored a goal. Like, okay, we got a lot of work to do. Yeah. And I just, I just tried to do everything I could in a short amount of time. 
What is it about this team? No, mo no moments too big, no adversities too too deep. It's just you guys pull through every time. It seems like. It seems like it, huh? <laughs> That's why we just we just did it again, and uh, I don't know what to say to you. I think there was ten minutes left, and we were down one nil, and we just uh, we just went all in and all crazy. I think it just two amazing goals from two amazing players and. What a way to end the year. Okay, and how does this one rank? You've won so many now, it feels like. Where does this one rank? Does it feel different than the rest? Every year is different. Every year has their ups and downs and bring different challenges. This one, if you look at the year, I think there's a lot of ups and downs. It feels different, but I don't know. I don't know. It's, to be honest, four, it's a lot uh, in five years. And, but it never, it never gets old. All right, congrats. The voice of the CPL in one soccer. Adam Laboring Jenkins. voice, let me add. I, have you ever, in the match, I mean, you couldn't have scripted it. Any, like Hollywood could not have done a better job with the drama in that match. No, from Tristan's save to force extra time. The, like, with all of that, I hope that that's not forgotten about because there's no extra time without that absolute larceny of Jesse Daly. And I think someone, I saw him on the pitch afterwards, and I think somebody was asking him, like, what was going through your mind when you made that save? And I'm like, I've never played the position. He wasn't thinking anything. <laughs> By the time yeah. the ball was off um, Jesse's foot, it was like, I have to make myself big and I have to be right. And he was. And like that, that to me, is one of the greatest saves, especially with the context, the importance of all time. And then, yeah, we had three... Like, on their own, <laughs> you have one of those in a final, right. and it's something that you never forget. But the fact it was a Moosey worldy, like classic Ali Moosey, and Forge has one of two ways of going about it. They can hang their heads up, not our year, we've got three, whatever. Or they can do exactly what they did. Benny beats them on a great shot, mm -hmm. and then, like, I'm gutted for Marco, because as a keeper, he's going to be the first person to blame himself. It's not his fault, but you have to say, I'm an Olympico, like... You, and you gotta kind of know that he's he's thinking it. Like I think everyone in the stadium thought he's at least trying because what does he have to lose? He's done it before. He's done it a couple of times mm -hmm. before, um, but the audacity to do it with everything on the line. Like I, I feel for him because he'll never have a, he'll never be cooler than he is tonight. <laughs> um, and I think that there's a lot of people that wanted to shake his hand. It was just it was special. And, and the ability for the club to just I, I mean when the chips are down they're, they're just a switch. They're able to just kind of flip because it looked like. I mean, Calvary was coming on, and yeah. Forge looked like they, they may have been in trouble, and then something happened. Schwanier comes on, mm -hmm. probably no coincidence that things kind of turned there. And how many teams can sub Borges and Schwanier yeah. on in a final? With Wubens, Passius in a walking boot, um, like, you, you lose a player of his magnitude, you got it for him as well. And, like, most teams, that's that deflates them. But, I mean, everyone that came in uh, for Forge did a shit. I think, like, the... Everybody played great, both sides. I think it was literal mir minor miracles that separated the game tonight. And, and as much as you're, from our perspective as the neutral broadcaster, yeah. it's like, it's always special when there's a new champion. It was right. special if Pacific did it here, even though I'm sure gutted Forge fans. You're like, it would have been special if Cavalry finally got it done. But for 14,000 people to be here and be a part of it for the first time in half a decade, like, I don't think the week the playoffs could have gone better for the league. There's going to be a lot of supporters who are probably like Forge again. Um, but like, we'll never see this again. But like, they'll, they'll eventually lose. They'll yeah. have to lose eventually. But like, <laughs> I don't know, if a postseason rolls around next year, you're like, it's forges until somebody beats them. And, and for Calvary, I mean, they yeah. were so close to just overcoming that hurdle and, mm -hmm. and losing in the worst way possible, too. I mean, where do they go from here? It, I mean, I remember the conversations in the semifinal last year. Like, they play well, and then they don't get it done. And it's, it's different this year. It really is, as much as that might seem like a, a cop-out from their perspective. But... Does the, the this the CPL or the North Star Cup is a bonus? It doesn't age well after what Tommy said yesterday, but he's also not wrong. They right. will be in Concacaf Champions Cup with Forge next year in February. Right. They had an incredible season. That regular season was as dominant as we've seen. But again, this year, this off season, all the regular season next year until next October, it's going to be. I think I said it to you on the other day in our match day preview. Mm. It's like the Leafs for the GTA supporters here. Right. It's, it does not matter because <laughs> yeah. they like that number three in the corner is going to say four next year and they're going to have the North Star badge again. And that's what's going to grind their gears. But because they lifted the CPL shield, because they're in CONCACAF Champions Cup, it stings less. But uh, yeah, you, you walk through them, you see them going to the bus and they're almost speechless yeah. because they did play so well. And it's just, 
It's Porch again. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Adam Jenkins. This is twice now in like less than a week. I maybe, know. Even this uh, is special. It is special. Not as special as for titles, but it's close. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Give, give us some credit. Here. All right, a little give bit. Give us a little bit All of right. credit. Well, thanks so much. My pleasure. Uh, listen. Um, uh, Unbelievable is all I can say. I, I said it earlier. Now that I've seen the the, the celebration, the presentation, um, now that I've dodged a, a lot of champagne from the players, I got to tell you, I stand by what I said earlier. That was just something I've never been a part of in, in person. If you were here at the CPL final at Tim Hortons Field, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you weren't, I, I don't want to bum you out, but I don't know that we're ever going to... I mean, everything we talked about, all the storylines. Cavalry trying to get over the forge hurdle. The, the the experience, the guys like Schwanier and Becker and Borges and Henry and Ashen Yodi Janssen and Dominic Samuel. Guys that have been here from day one. I mean, they not only come... How many clubs... Can, can, can sub on a Borges and a Chouanier. Cavalry, who really, I mean, they played well. And they probably played well enough to win. They were up. They were up in extra time. And Forge, they, they just looked like they didn't have much life leading up to that goal. All of a sudden, Chouanier gets subbed on. And just the, the, the game, it just changed completely. And... Look, would it have turned that way without Schwanier being subbed on? I mean, I, I'm not saying it's all that Schwanier sub that did it, but something happened after that Cavalry goal. This club was ignited. They they did what they do. They can flip a switch like it's it's like nothing I've ever. It, it, it it's so rare. You know, I spoke to Benny Batty Banga. Um, I don't know if that footage is going to make it into this match in review. Because it was in the locker room while the champagne was going and I was trying to avoid my, my phone getting soaked. It was loud. There was music. Um, not even sure if that's usable. Um, so if it's not, I will just reiterate something. He's That goal from Benny. Now remember, he was a he came in you know two-thirds into the, the, the CPL season and joined Forge and hit the ground running. And I talked to him and I, I, I said, Benny... You've only been here for a few months. It feels like you've been here for years. And he just, he looked up and he said, those guys in there, those are my brothers. How quickly teammates can turn to family just on a dime like that. Um, his goal, his dying, his, his dying goal, he said it's something he's worked on. If, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you check it out. An absolute banger. And he said, I, I practiced that. That look that Calvary gave me, that's the look I wait for every single game. And I saw it, and I didn't hesitate, and I buried it. And Benny, Batty Bang, the X Factor in this one, the guy who, it's, he's one of the newbies, the newest member of Forge. And he played a huge role. He's a guy that stepped in as Forge battled injuries. You know, who knows where Forge would be with just, they, they were really banged up through that second half of the regular season. Benny Batty Banga comes in, and he, he's just he instant contributor. Two goals off set pieces. And then he gets into his first CPL final, scores the tying goal, and then after that, Tristan Borges, an Olympico. An Olympico game winner in a CPL final after you were down one nothing, tied it, and that is your game winner. And if you see the highlight, if you look, you watch the expression on Borges' face. He turns around, looks at the crowd. I don't know that he believed. Uh, I, I mean, I'm sure there's a part of him that believed he could score from there. He wouldn't have tried it. But just mathematically, um, a near impossible shot. And, and it works in the biggest moment possible. Where do we go from here? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Um, by the way, this is not for those looking for a more... Um, tidy review of the match that's coming shortly you will get a full season in review very soon in the coming days and we can just delve into this right now we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants just to kind of match the raw emotion of, of what happened um, where we go from here is I don't know there is CONCACAF next year that is the next step 
in terms of just adding to the accolades. Um, but four titles in five seasons, the first, their first at home, the first CPL, CPL club ever to win at home. If you're new to this team, new to this franchise, it has been a dynasty building, building, building. I can't, I'm not saying it's over by any means, but if for some reason, you know, they don't win the next championship, I mean, this is, this is more than anyone could have asked for. So unbelievable finish to a completely wacky, unpredictable season. And with that, your Forge FC are CPL champions for a mind-blowing fourth time. This league has only seen five championship matches in its history. Forge has played in all of them, and they've won four. And uh, th th this is, I, I called it a dynasty. I don't even know. I mean, it, it, we're, we're past that. We, it was probably a dynasty coming into this match. This just puts an unbelievable exclamation point on that fun season. Fun season with you, the listeners on the Forge Audio Network. It's been fun for me. Uh, the players, I'm sure, are having a ton of fun now. And um, like I said, we're not done. This is not like a goodbye. We have more coming. We'll have a full season re in review in the coming days. The Forge Audio Network lives on even past the season because don't forget, we also have a lot of CONCACAF to talk because that's coming up in just months. So a lot more going on, but what a moment. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I know I will. Uh, and we're going to talk to you very, very soon. This has been Match in Review with Anthony Arcioli on the Forge Audio Network. For the latest on all things Forge FC, subscribe on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.